All right, so for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the phone screen on your image. Now, first things first, we want to zoom in so we can actually see what needs to be selected on the screen of the phone. Now, we're going to hold down and use our quick selection tool just to select the phone. And as you can see, there's a lot of things that were selected that needs to be removed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in with our poly tool. And first, we're going to subtract a lot of the outside from the selection. So we're just going to click. And I'm just going to go just down the side of the phone as we can see where the screen actually ends. And we're just going to be as meticulous as we can. And because we're trying to select the outside, I'm not going to go this way to close it. I'm just going to go just back this way. And then now we have that selected. And then now I'm going to just go back in on the top of the phone. And we're just going to select the outside of the screen. And, per and so now there's part of the nail that needs to be cut away as well. And even just part of the finger, we're just going to go in and perfect. So now we're going to zoom out and now we have this phone selected. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom right where we see the square with the circle. And we're going to click it to create a mask as we see it's creating the mask of the screen of the phone. And I'm just going to hit command I to invert it. So right now we just have a blank area for the phone. Now this is where I would actually save the image. And when you save it, you want to make sure that you're saving it as a PSD, which is a Photoshop file, not the Photoshop PDF, but the Photoshop file. And the reason you want to save it that way is let's say that you want to change this up constantly. You don't want to always have to edit this, right? So you want to be able to save it right here to where all you have to do is just import the photo that you want to put on the screen of the actual cell phone. So now let's just take an example of putting a screen on the phone. So this is my image right here. I'm just going to drag it and drop it on top of this image. And this is just a screenshot of the website and we're going to hit okay. And whoa, it's too big. So of course we're going to make it smaller, but you always want to make sure whenever you're doing any edits to resizing, you want to make sure that this chain link is clicked so that it stays proportionate. So right now I just want to focus on just making it small enough to fit the phone. And then we're going to hit okay. And then now we're just going to drag this layer underneath the actual cell phone. And as we can see right now, it's in the phone. So now using this layer, I'm going to go back to the move tool. And what you want to do is you want to fine tune it to make it look more realistic. Obviously the phone is turned. So because the phone is turned, you want to make sure that the image is turned as well. So we're going to rotate the image and we're just going to keep rotating it. And I like to use the lines of the phone as well as the lines from this outline just to see that it's straight. And then we're just going to do a little bit more fine tuning. And then we're just going to make it smaller so that it's actually fitting within the cell phone. Now, another thing that you want to be mindful of is the perspective, right? Because if the phone looks a little bit tilted, it's not going to be a straight flat image. So now another thing that we can do while we're editing is we can actually fix the perspective of the image so that it actually fits it much better. So I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller right in here. And I'm just going to rotate it a little bit more to where it still looks a little bit. There we go. Perfect. And now we're just going to move it a little bit over. And now let's say we want to edit the perspective. What we can do is we'll go to edit, transform, and perspective. 
And what that does is it's basically, as we can see, we're able to fine tune just the perspective of the image to where if it needs to be tilted or shifted a little bit, we can do that right here through there. All right. Now, if we were to zoom out, now we have this image within the cell phone. And let's say if you want to use an image, whether you're trying to promote a brand, whether you're, whether you're trying to promote something that you're offering, whether it's a workshop, a class, a training, a new product, whatever it may be, all you have to do is just go in here and just add in your image to place. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and be on the lookout for the next video.